Hey guys, I'm Lee Leckler, better known to the internet as the Sleeping Beauty Proposal Guy. Hi, I'm Stuti. I'm the Sleeping Beauty Proposal Girl. My name is Kayla Coombs. I did the artwork for the Sleeping Beauty Proposal. And this is that story. This is that story. This is that story. And I'm actually Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> so Stuti and I met our freshman year of high school, she was taking a dance class at the time. And at the end of the year, all the dance classes have their final performance. And I was taking a stagecraft class at the time. Lee did all the tech for it. I thought he was kind of a weird guy in the corner because <laughs> he would always wear all black and just look really sad. But I knew he was someone special. The final night of the show, somebody in the sound booth just like cranked the music and all the dancers from all the classes just ran on stage and just started dancing, just letting loose. Somehow, I got dragged out of the wings onto stage in the spotlight and somehow I wound up dancing with Stuthi. And naturally I was like, well, I gotta do something here. And somebody had given her a red rose. I put it in my teeth and I started pretending like we were tangoing, <laughs> which at the time seemed like a good idea. Two seconds later I realized there were thorns in that rose. It was such a special and memorable moment that if you look carefully at the video, you'll see that in that frame where we're dancing together, I actually, my character has a little rose in his mouth as an homage to that moment. You guys make me tear up. Edit that part out. <laughs> And that's actually truly how we met and uh, started dating. So I guess our, our story begins a few years back and a friend of mine told me that he was thinking about proposing to his then girlfriend. And we were just sort of sitting there talking about how we might do it. The idea popped into my head pretty much fully formed. He's sitting there with his significant other and they're watching her favorite movie. And all of a sudden in a key scene, like green screen composited into the shot is him. <laughs> And just a moment for her would be like, feels kind of magical, is like cognitive dissonance, what are you doing there? And then it would segue to a real life proposal with him doing a little fake toss and then in real life catching it and getting down on one knee. It's like magical, would be animated into your favorite movie. Um, and he thought about it and he's like, you know, honestly, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it'd be right for us. And so I sort of filed that idea away for later thinking maybe there, you know, it seemed like there was something there. Maybe I could get some mileage out of it yet. Fast forward a few years down the road, Stuthi and I were dating. We'd started having conversations about taking the next step in our relationship. My head, of course, went to, well, how am I gonna do it? Eventually, I sort of resurfaced that idea. What if I put myself into her favorite movie and popped the question that way? And the problem was, her favorite movie is Sleeping Beauty, which is animated. I got a copy of Sleeping Beauty and I just started scrubbing through it because I'd never seen it. I got to the end where Prince Philip comes in, kneels down, kisses Aurora and like breaks the spell. And I noticed that the whole scene was pretty static and it made me think that maybe I didn't need to be an animator. Maybe I just needed an illustrator. It had to be something that could be seamless with Disney level animation, which is like, that's as good as it gets. I just wound up going on Instagram and using different hashtags, I could kind of discover artists who were posting with certain styles. I eventually made my way to Kayla Coombs. I thought, what have I gotten myself into here? This is too much. Lee sent me an email just out of the blue. Would you be available or willing to do some artwork to help me propose to my girlfriend? Um, we had a chat and he kind of told me the whole vision and I was like, wow, this guy, this guy's got high hopes. This is, this is gonna be special if we can pull it off. Kayla Coombs is an Australian illustrator. One of her talents is she can emulate that kind of classic Disney style. Yeah, it's weird. Definitely did not see this coming. I had no idea. And when I found my way to her Instagram page and started scrolling through, I just remember that being the moment where I thought, this could actually work. So I was very excited to just do this proposal in the comfort of our home, presented it to my friend. He's like, no man, have you, have you never met a woman? Friends and family should be there. It should be someplace beautiful. And both of our heads went to this local independent movie theater called the Coolidge Corner Theater. It just, it's a, it's a, it's a venue that holds a lot of significance to me. And Stuthi and I have gone and seen movies there. I think this just shows how ingenious Lee is. He basically, had to figure out a way not to seem so weird that he was inviting me to a theater full of my friends and family. So he enlisted my mom. Can I give you something to send her that will invite her to the screening? She said, yeah, I'm down. And then my mom had emailed me this and said, oh, I know how much you love Sleeping Beauty, so I bought all of us tickets. If Lee is available, 
he can come too. So then a week later, I had forwarded this email to, be, to Lee and said, oh, FYI, we have to go see this movie with my family. It's like one of my favorites. And he's like, oh, okay, well, if I'm getting invited to my own proposal, I think I must be doing a pretty good job. <laughs> There were a lot of logistics to be managed. The idea we had then was, well maybe it's, we stick all the friends and family and we push them to the back. And then let's get some people that she doesn't know to sort of fill those seats right around her to kind of distract her from the friends and family. We put this on Reddit, you know, said, hey, I'm looking for, I think I used the words, I'm looking for random internet strangers to help fill a theater so I can surprise propose to my girlfriend. These kids back behind me were dressed up and I thought they were came here for Sleeping Beauty and I was like, oh God, they're not gonna be able to see Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I don't know, like it happened and like it wasn't like really making sense. I just like think it was like so many emotions were going through and like was really special. That's as good as it gets. The best part is I get to spend the rest of my life with Lee, which is always something that really is what brings a smile to my face. So. To me, one of the most mind boggling parts of all of this has been seeing that not only have people in America enjoyed watching this, but across the globe. I think we all sort of suspect deep down that everyone around us sort of wants the same things. We all appreciate love, we all appreciate respect. This is gonna sound super cheesy, but like, we're not that different. Like, no matter where we are on the planet, the fact that this resonated so widely really reaffirmed that belief that I've always had.